ันเต็มเต็มอุสอันเต็มแม้ไม่ได้ทำนาทีสุดเลยคุณอิมาจิเลฟินเฮอชิวคุณอิมาจิเลฟินเฮอชิว Welcome back to doing it with the Dixons. If you like it here, stay here. Like, comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. On today's video, we are finally getting to redo our master bedroom. As you can see, the first thing that we had to do was we had to move all the bedroom furniture so it wasn't in the way of us painting. And we also noticed how heavy our bed actually is, which was kind of like a pain. But enjoy some of the music and enjoy some of the scenery. So one of the most tedious tasks is probably marking the area off with painter's tape. I honestly don't know of an easier way to do it, but I do know that it's probably one of the most vital things that you could do to just avoid making a mess, which I still ended up doing anyway. But we marked off all the areas because we're painting with black too, and we kind of left a little bit of marks or whatnot. You might see it, you might not. But make sure that you mark off your area so you don't avoid some of the paint splash over. So at this moment, I make a heartfelt message to Neva using our Amazon spray gun, our Amazon paint spray gun, which as you can see coming up, wasn't doing what I thought it should have been doing. And you'll see it in one of the upcoming clips. Stay tuned.
so no stuff there I was painting for probably about an hour with my spray gun trying to make everything all nice and neat and then here comes Neve with a paint roller literally painting an area that took me about 45 minutes to paint and it was at this moment that I realized the purchase from Amazon was not worth the money that I spent on it and I will soon convert over to the paint brush and the paint roller myself paint smarter not harder folks So in all honesty, us painting this wall black, which black, depending on what your base color is, can be a very tedious color. It didn't take us very long, especially after we did away with the paint sprayer. Honestly, I would say that maybe it was about, uh, probably about an hour and a half at most. Gimbalish on the way to Lowe's, Neva trailing behind. Oh my God. What is that? What did you? I didn't touch this thing. Oh, okay. That's I used to like this. Man, we gotta find a little thingy thing. We got our arm rolls up. What's up? Yeah, 
Texas, 56 volt.
certainly didn't plan on driving home like this, but Lowe's no longer cuts MDF for, and they only do three courtesy cuts. So this summer, or not this summer, when we're doing all the other board and batten walls, they cut all the boards, well, majority of the boards for us. Now they only do three cuts and no MDF board, which is what we got. So we got to cut it ourselves. Luckily we have a saw. Luckily he has a saw, so we can make the cuts ourselves and it's not like any super detailed cut. So it shouldn't be too bad. But we're gonna go home and drop this stuff off. We'll be, well, I don't know if we're gonna go back out or not. So now we're about to start putting the actual boards up. Of course, Lowe's stopped doing the cuts like we wanted to, so we had to drive home with about nine boards hanging out of the car, which was kind of fun. At the end of the day, we got to where we needed to go and it worked for us. Uh, it was at this point where we were trying to figure out how to actually get it up and hold it in place while I had the nail gun. So luckily I had a Neva helping. And don't forget to take your paint tape down. Please don't forget to take your paint tape down. It is very vital that you take your paint tape down before you start putting the boards up. And that's me about to do some damage with my Cobalt nail gun. Shout out to Cobalt for their fancy nail gun. I got a lot of Cobalt products and I appreciate that. So now we get to the point where we're ready to do the vertical boards. And the one thing I do want to mention about doing vertical boards, when you do your vertical boards, make sure that you take into account how long your wall is and how far you want the boards to actually be spaced. So it just looks, it looks even and it looks consistent as you go across your wall.
So now what you're going to see is Aniva taking the nail filler and she's going to fill all the holes that the nail guns makes and also all of the spaces in between the boards. So that way when it dries you just sand it down so you have a smooth space to work with and it looks more professional once you paint over it in the end. And this is the finished product as it dries. But of course, once we get everything together and we get all the pieces installed and pictures hung up, you will get the final view of what our master bedroom and master living space looks like. As always, okay, so like, comment, subscribe, and hope you enjoyed this video me. and enjoy this one last clip. So yeah, now, I think that's gonna be it for day one. Hopefully we can get the wall skies put up tomorrow and at least get the bed back into the place where it needs to go. So we'll see. But as for now, we'll be back tomorrow. And this is Mariah, hope you enjoyed it.